pro life versus pro choice it's a debate that has been part of the us society for decades it features prominently in all presidential polls a candidate stand on whether abortion is a right or is it immoral could swing a lot of votes us is a federal country so all its states have the right to form their own laws but in january 1973 the country's supreme court ruled on the woman's right to abortion in the roe versus wade case that had huge ramification on federal laws in 1970 jane roe a false identity for single mother norma mccorvey sued dallas attorney general henry wade over texas abortion laws roe was pregnant for the third time and wanted to terminate the pregnancy but texas laws made abortion criminal except in cases of rape incest or when mother's life was in danger in january 1972 the supreme court of the united states overturned the texas laws and ruled that the right of privacy is broad enough to encompass a woman's decision whether or not to terminate her pregnancy however the us top court put in a rider it said that the right to privacy with regard to pregnancy is not absolute and is subject to some limitations it added that at some point the state's interest as to protection of health medical standards and prenatal life become dominant the supreme court effectively allowed abortions before a fetus would be viable outside the womb that is between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy the roe versus wade judgment has faced several challenges since the latest one being from the state of mississippi in 2018 the state banned most abortions after 15 weeks much before fetal viability and sooner than allowed by the roe judgment a year later the state went ahead and banned abortions once fetal heartbeat could be heard which is 6 weeks The US Supreme Court has now ended the constitutional right to terminate a pregnancy provided by the Roe v. Wade verdict allowing states to ban abortion.